Hello friends, welcome to this video. Today we are going to talk about one of the biggest and most vital projects in the history of Afghanistan. Kosh Tepa Canal is a big and vital project in the history of Afghanistan, which is being built to use the water of the AMU Sea, irrigation of the northern lands of the country and achieving agricultural self-sufficiency are the main goals of building this canal. During its construction, work has been provided for a large number of our compatriots and machinery related to private companies has also been put into operation in this canal, which is a big economic cycle in the construction of this water canal in the country. Our circulating, the excavation of the first phase of this canal, which was 108 kilometers long, has been completed. And from here, the practical work of its second phase has started. The second phase of this canal, which includes 177 kilometers of digging, starts from Daulat Abad in Balkh province and ends in Ankoi Faryab province. Several bridges have also been built along this route, which connects different areas so that our compatriots can easily see and pass through the areas of Kosh Tepa Canal. On his trip to Balkh province, the chief executive officer of the National Development Company inspected various areas of the Kosh Tepa Canal where the work is going on to guide the engineers, workers, and contractors who work in the Kosh Tepa Canal to be careful in the progress of the Kosh Tepa Canal and to make more efforts to complete this great and vital project of the country. The beginning of the second phase of this large agricultural canal of the country has once again created a field of work for a large number of our compatriots. As everyone knows, this project is a national project and everyone is working with great enthusiasm. All these workers work from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m., which means they work a very long time. During this time that these workers are busy working, they think that they have worked for five hours. It means that the workers themselves work with a very good feeling, with a great interest and enthusiasm. That is, without fatigue, everyone is working very hard. Excavation of the second phase of the Kosh Tepa Canal is currently underway in 15 places, and the number of companies is expected to increase in the coming days, and the work of the Kosh Tepa Canal should be speeded up. A total of 67 companies have been appointed to carry out the digging and filling works of the second phase, and it has been determined that they have to work, of which work is currently going on in 15 places, and the rest of the work teams and companies are also in procurement and in the process of transferring machinery. They are themselves, which means 67 companies will start their work shortly. The National Development Company is trying to complete the excavation of the second phase of the Kosh Tepa Canal. In another year, God willing, the canal will reach the Ankoi district of Faryab province and then releases the water. Also, the head of the Kosh Tepa Canal, which is one of the most essential parts of this large and national project of the country, is being worked on very intensively, and hundreds of our compatriots are also busy working in this part. To complete the most important part of the Kosh Tepa Canal as soon as possible, the technical engineers of this part of the Kosh Tepa Canal say that due to the location of the Kosh Tepa Canal Dam in the sandy areas and the high air level here, more care should be taken and they are working using the largest machinery for people. The construction of the most basic part of the large Kosh Tepa agricultural canal is successful. However, the construction of a large bridge in the first phase of 95 kilometers is also going on, which connects Daulat Abad district with Shortepe district of Balkh. This bridge connects Daulat Abad to Balkh, and the length of this bridge is 110 meters. Its width is 10 meters, which is a very good quality bridge, and it has a very high status. At first, 98 foundations were laid, and then concrete was poured on them. Also, work continues on the pillar foundations. After this stage, the work of strengthening the building is done, which God willing will continue. Now the workers are pouring concrete on the foundations and the work on the frames is still going on. He is going to start the next concreting in the new stage. The workers of this bridge say that in terms of quality, we assure all the people of Afghanistan that this bridge will be built with very good quality and that people will be able to use this bridge for commuting. With the completion of the first phase of the Kosh Tepa Canal and the flow of underground water in that field, the habitat of all kinds of birds has been improved. Therefore, the number of birds increases every day 
and the Kosh Tepe Canal also takes on a new color over time. Due to the completion of the first phase of the Kosh Tepe Canal and the beginning of the second phase, the farmers now hope more than ever for water to come to their lands and look forward to the future with joy. With seas full of water, agricultural land suitable for farming, and young manpower, Afghanistan should be at the stage of exporting countries, but unfortunately, their natural resources have not been used properly. It is expected that with the flow of water in the Kosh Tepe Canal and the use of natural resources such as water, land, and the young workforce of our dear country, Afghanistan will become self-sufficient in the agricultural and traditional sectors and achieve economic prosperity. In the agriculture sector in Afghanistan, the National Development Company is committed to advancing and completing this Kosh Tepe Canal as soon as possible. Dear friends, by the end of this video, we hope that you will get a clear picture of the importance and scope of the Kosh Tepe Canal project. The project will help strengthen Afghanistan's agriculture sector and economy and improve people's daily lives by increasing access to potable water and increasing biodiversity in the region. The round-the-clock work and effort of the workers, engineers, and everyone involved in this project shows the collective will and commitment to building a better future for Afghanistan. Let's appreciate their efforts and hope for the progress we see every day. Let's remember that every positive step, however small, towards sustainable development and self-sufficiency is a big step towards a bright future. Thanks for your participation in this video. We hope to see more progress and greater achievements in our beloved country of Afghanistan. Thank you for watching.